I wanted to make a quick video demonstrating how to finish the apple um, that we started in class. So for the remainder of the apple, you'll need a light green, a dark green, um, a brown and a black colored pencil. So where we left off was shading the apple with kind of a light green and getting close to the um, reflected light, you're gonna release the pressure, okay? Now I'm gonna take my black. Actually, I think I would take a dark green now and sort of create a gradient along the bottom of the apple. And it's on the side of this apple too and gradually release the pressure there. So it looks like this apple is overlapping with the, the big round apple and it's creating a shadow on it. All right, now I'm gonna add some dark green above this leaf on the, the big apple. And up here under the, the little folded leaf, you're gonna have a really dark shadow. So I'm using green right now. But I'm using a darker green. Okay, now I'm gonna take my black and I'm going to down here is really dark, so I'm gonna make a value scale of black along the bottom right of the big apple. But we should still see the dark green as it like fades into black, dark green, light green, yellow. And then up here, you can add a little bit of black too. Okay, on the leaves, you can add light green across all the leaves. And then a darker green for where the leaf's folded. So on this little leaf, it's folded to the right of that. You'll put dark green. On this folded leaf, you'll put it above the line. And there's just a little bit of dark green on this leaf. All right, and then on this upper leaf, it's really dark, so I'm gonna add a little black, a gradient. And again, it looks a little um, grainy, so I'm gonna burnish it with some darker green. Okay, now I'm gonna add my stem for this apple and I'm going to use brown a value scale and oh yeah I forgot we used red last time so I would blend some red up into the stem and I'm adding a little yellow <clears throat> on a stem. So this is like where the apple fell off the branch. 
and it's kind of flat here, okay? Last thing we need to do is add our, sha our shadows to the apple. So underneath the big apple, I would, I would lightly with the black color pencil, just sketch in where the shadow is gonna go, okay? Just the outline. And then on the light apple, same thing, but really lightly. So the closer to the apple is gonna be darker. And then fan out the gradient. Same thing on this side. Maybe a bit darker, closer to the apple, and then pan out the gradient. So adding shadows really make things look like three-dimensional forms because it makes them look like they're sitting in on a surface and casting a shadow. Okay, and I forgot there's a little shadow under this leaf. Okay, so I think that's kind of it. Oh, this leaf also has a really dark shadow here. So, a little gradient on this leaf. And since I put black now, I wanna burnish it a little. All right, now I feel like that's hopefully helpful as y'all finish your apples.